there. Larry Ann with Pink Dahlia Soaps here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are well. Today's soap is the third and final soap that I am making inspired by 1950s Christmas. And like I mentioned in the other videos, I did get lost in a loop of looking at vintage 50s Christmas cards and they inspired me to make some soaps. And so today's soap is inspired by this card in particular. Thought that was very pretty. So I really love the minty green background along with the holly leaves and berries. Here is my take on this card. And once again, since the base of the soap will be all one color, I'm going to go ahead and add the colorant to the oils before I add the lye water solution. The fragrance oil that I'm using is called Wonderberry, and it is a fusion of strawberry, raspberry, and red currant. And here are the embeds or canes that I made to put inside the soap. I made these a few days prior. The leaf mold is not quite a holly leaf, but I figured it was close enough. Let's see what's on my jolly embed tray. Why, I have some soap dough holly leaves in three different sizes and some little soap dough berries. I wanted to have two different color greens in the piping and I'm taking the darker color of the two and just kind of smearing it on the outer portion of the piping bag and then I'm taking the lighter color and putting it on the inside. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Oh by golly, have a holly mandatory motion sickness inducing shaky shot this year. Twenty four hours later, let's cut this soap. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. I love the minty green background and the leaves and the berries and how the piping has two different greens. I don't know if you can tell. I absolutely love the way this soap turned out. I always save the soap ends so that I can go back and fill in any little holes that may be in the soap like this here. I'll just take the soap end, mash it up a little bit, and it'll be like the hole was never there. Well, I had a lot of fun making these soaps inspired by 1950s Christmas. And I'm definitely looking forward to making some soaps in 2021. So until then, I wish you a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, whatever it is you celebrate. I hope you have a good one. I know things are different this year, but let's make the best of it. Here's to positive vibes and good things for next year. 
Thank you so very much for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, or leave a comment below. Take care. Bye-bye.